What's going on everybody? 3G Bricks here. I got a bunch of pick a brick cups and a couple mini figures. Series 24. So let's go ahead and see what we got at the pick a brick wall. They got a bunch of new pieces recently. So let's go ahead and dump these out. So there it is, there's the hall. They had a lot of these yellow scaffolding pieces. A lot of these white six by eights, some black six by eights, blue four by six. So these, these ones were there before, but I just got a couple more. Dark gray, dark bluish gray, four by six. They had some white corner tiles or corner plate and they had these coral round plates which are really cool green two by ten they had some blue one by eight brick. And then a whole bunch of random miscellaneous pieces that I kind of use as fillers, like these one by one yellow plates. Some of these green bricks with the side snot stud on one side. They had some of these red bars. These are kind of neat. So yeah, got a lot of nice bricks here. I'm going to go ahead and get these ready for the Lego City. These yellow scaffolding pieces are really cool. Figured you can do a lot of construction mocks with these. And these are going to come in handy when I start to set up some of the buildings, simulate the construction sites. So I was really excited to find these. These are going to come in handy when I build the cranes. Oh, yeah. Got a lot of these nice white six by eight or six by 10, no, six by eight plates. These are really nice. And some of these black six by eights. Then I picked up four mini figures from series 24. And then we happened to get the paper boy dinosaur guy. Koala bear and the keeper, the zookeeper. This one is one of my favorites. I really wanted to get the koala bear. And then we got the Carrot Man. I think what these are really nice because this is not a sticker, it's a print. So you could easily set up a little farmer's market and put this sign by itself, or you could have the carrot guy right in the farmer's market. And they actually have some prints on the back. Rescue. Nothing on the back of that one. And then he's got a little tail. And then you get in a second slingshot with this character. I thought that was kind of neat. And you got an extra tail with this one. And this one actually came with an extra bit of food that the koala can eat. And then this one had the extra hair piece. So some city updates. Currently what I'm doing, I'm gonna use these old roads and set those up kind of like a racetrack for the speed champions. 
Figured those would look really neat for a, a simple racetrack mock. And then I'm starting to lay out some of the base plates and some pieces of plywood that I'm going to cut down to size so it's going to fit these nicely. And then once I get these set up, I'm going to be able to have a table there that runs all the way around, along the wall and then comes back this way and then comes out here and then what I want to do is have a little peninsula with a bridge where I can still access the inner area so it's going to be like a backwards F right along the wall I figured that would be kind of neat to have like a bay and I can have a bridge that goes over it. So yeah, that's update for now. And as far as organizing goes, I've got a lot of progress that I made recently. I know it doesn't really look like much has happened, but overall, I'm having to take a lot of the sets apart just because they're so dusty. Um, Made a huge mistake doing drywall with Lego. Uh, you probably could see it on this one. But yeah. Horrible. I have to clean every single set as they're all dusty. It's a disaster, actually. Very sad about this. No. But live and learn. Dust won't last forever. At least it washes off. It's not permanent. And it gives me the opportunity to dismantle the sets that I don't want to keep together. And then I can part those out for mocks. I'm going to be left with a lot of extra bricks that I'll be able to use for all the buildings in the Lego City. Here's just a great example of the dust that I'm dealing with right now. Every set has got this much dust on it from the drywall. Don't make the same mistake I did in drywall with Lego. And if you do, make sure you cover it up. See, I'm going to have to clean this entire thing. But i got to be careful because what I don't want to do is have the sets get all scratched up from the drywall dust. I'm going to have hairline scratches all over everything if I don't wipe it down carefully. But I found that just rinsing it with simple water, lukewarm water, no detergents, no soaps or anything, and that seems to help the best. I mean, obviously I won't be able to do it for the train controller, but I think I can just use a, a damp wipe rag, a wet rag for that one. That should do the trick. But, yep, that's what I'm dealing with right now. And I'm going to be going through all these instruction booklets. I have to get a whole bunch of different more binders and sleeves so I can get these organized. And I really want to get the binders to correspond to the actual Lego theme. Where the color of the theme is the color of the binder. And that's how I'm going to store them. I did end up breaking down a lot of the boxes and folding them up nicely. As you can see, here's those 30 sets that we got on the Black Friday special that added 45,000 pieces to the collection. Uh, really happy about that, actually, too. And just going through and I had to dismantle a couple of the skyscraper mocks just because they got dusty from the drywall dust as well. So I'm going to re re rebuild those when I get a chance. But as of right now, everything is dismantled with the exception of the hotel. Luckily, this one was upstairs and didn't get any drywall dust on it. So I managed to keep that one clean. But I just want to thank everybody for watching and stay tuned for the next update.